In this video, we're going to cover some of the options that you can use with the Tabs widget. Now, some of these will look very familiar. In fact, we've used these in previous videos, especially with the Accordion widget. Now, as I indicated in the last video, the first tab is always the default tab that is opened. In this case, it's Ancient Greece. Now, what if we want Ancient Rome to be the default tab that gets opened when a visitor first visits our web page? We can do that, of course, with the active property. And I actually already have it typed out, so I'll just go ahead and copy and paste it right in here. And this is the same property you will remember that we use in the accordion. Remember we were changing the default panels around? Well, that's what we're going to do here. Now remember, computers like to start with zero, so this first spot, this ancient Greece tab, that's actually zero. So if we specify one here, when we reload this page, ancient Rome should be the panel that's opened by default. So let's go ahead and see if that works. And it did. The Ancient Rome panel by default is now the first panel that's opened. And if we wanted Ancient Egypt, it would be two, and so on, and so on, and so on. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at another option. Now, what if you want the user to be able to collapse these different panels? You can do that with the collapsible property. So let's go ahead and set that. And we just go ahead and set that to true. So let's go ahead and see if this works. And it does. All I have to do is click on the tab again, and it is minimized. And let's just make sure it works for all of the tabs. And it does. So that's kind of a neat little option that you can use. And let's go ahead and take a look at yet another option. And actually, let's go ahead and expand one of these out again. Now, one thing you can do is you can have all of the content fill up the entire page if you want. So by default, it automatically sizes the panel to the available content. But you can override that, and no matter how much content you have, the panel will fill up the entire page. And you do that with the height style property. And we just set that to fill. For this, we actually have to use quotes. So let's go ahead and see if this works. And it didn't, so I did something wrong. Maybe this is lowercase. Let's try this again. Yep, it probably is. That will get you every time. And it should work this time, let's see. And it did. Now you see how this fills up the entire page now? That's what the fill property does. Now the default is content. Let's go ahead and put that in here, even though this is the default. And we'll refresh the page again. And there you can see, it now sizes the content panel to how much content is actually in the section. Now, by default, we have to click on each of these tabs. The click event is the default. But what if you want to use the mouse over event? Well, we can do that. And we can do that, of course, with the event property. And we just set this to mouse over. So let's go ahead and see if this works. And it does. Look, I'm mousing over each one of these, and the panels are changing. Okay, and there's one more option I would like to show you. And let's expand this out a little bit here. Now, what if we want to disable some of these panels? Let's say we want to disable the second and third panel. Well, we can do that. And we do that with the disable property. I've actually already got this typed out, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this right in here. And you can see, here's the disabled property, and then we use square brackets, and then you just put the index number of the panel that you want disabled. And remember, Ancient Rome is one, and Ancient Egypt is two. So let's go ahead and make sure this works. Let's refresh our page. And there you can see, those panels now are disabled. We can't click on Ancient Rome or Ancient Egypt, but we can click on Ancient Egypt too, and that works. We can click on the open panels. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.